So as a lot of you will know, I started this YouTube channel uh, near enough just over 12 months ago now. And in that time, it's grown from strength to strength. And I've done so many different things and made so many different videos now that it's hard to even remember most of them. But one of my favorite types of video to do is the free charity cleanup jobs, any pressure washing for free, whether it's for a little old lady who can't afford it normally or whether it's for a school where, you know, kids and obviously will be playing and they don't have the budget to get it done. However, this video will be slightly different. This is for a specific person, a little girl called Isla May, who is only four years old and has been battling leukemia and most recently caught COVID. The aim of this video is to try and raise some funds for her and her family so they can afford to take some time to spend together as a family as the family works six days a week living and working at a pub. Which brings me to how I found out about this. Um, I had a regular customer come through. A lovely man named Reese said, can you clean some play equipment and some areas at the pub that we live at? I said, yes, of course. I went and travelled down had a look at the job and the guy even paid for our lunch because it was a pub it was a little while away I took the kids and the missus down and I'm um, sorry the sun's very bright here um, took the kids and the missus down so we had lunch there while I was quoting the job we got on really well and within further talks we started talking about life and kids and family and things like that and as a few of you may know um, me and my partner we had a few scares and a few worries with our children when they were born but then what I came to find out about his daughter Isla May trumped any fears I could ever possibly have. So I thought, I've only got one pair of hands, but if I can help and do something, I have a channel with access to 67,000 pairs of hands. So I thought I'd try and make this video so we can try and raise some funds for this family. I will be putting the full story about this little girl towards the end of this video. Um, obviously, I'm going to play the footage of me cleaning up the place first. And then at the latter half of this video, I'll explain the full story about this little girl and there'll also be a GoFundMe link. Now, anybody who follows this channel and you're one of the regulars here, do not feel obliged to donate. The entire ad revenue from this video is going to go straight to the family. And that alone, I'm hoping, is enough to make a difference. So I'd just really appreciate it if everyone watched this video all the way through. Uh, watch the adverts. I know I'm sorry they can be annoying, um, but this is specifically for a good cause. So everything is going to be donated directly to the family. There will be a GoFundMe link also, so hopefully you can raise some funds there, but if not, no dramas. So mainly just liking, sharing, watching, uh, commenting on this video is really the main objective because that's what's going to push it into YouTube's ever-changing algorithm. I've also managed, luckily, to find a very good sponsor for this video, which is going to come up very shortly, so stick with that if you can as well, which is Manscaped, which is also very fitting for this type of video as they also have a Cancer Society page as well. Now, I know the big C word is a bit of a scary word for a lot of us watching this video as we all at least know somebody um, who has been affected by it, uh, but it does hit ever so different when it's just an innocent little girl and I know even me you know at my point in my business if someone handed me a couple of thousand pound and said there you go relax for a bit it would take a weight off my mind so I can only imagine what that would do to a family going through this at the moment so thank you everyone for watching this video if you do make it to the end uh, I really highly appreciate it so yeah thank you enjoy the video everybody so once again thank you Manscaped for hooking me up with all of this stuff this is the Lawn Mower 4.0 and if you purchase the package deal, this is exactly what you'll get. T-shirt, the product itself. Look, we've got ball toner, sorry ladies. Ball deodorant there as well. Anti-chafing, check that out. We've also got underwear, which I won't show you me modelling just in case YouTube take it down. We've got the Weed Whacker specifically for your nose hair and also the Shears 2.0, which is a little handy pocket-sized grooming kit. So let's talk about the Lawn Mower 4.0 itself. It comes with an LED light, as you can see very bright so you can uh, yeah, even shave your privates in the dark if need be. The stainless blades on top are also replaceable. Oh and also completely waterproof. So it also comes with a super smart cordless charging system so you just pop that straight in there and those little LED lights will tell you when it's full charge. Uh, at full charge it lasts 90 minutes of runtime as well. I've never had a shaver that has lasted longer than probably 30 minutes so that is epic and look how neat and tidy that is. It's tiny. Brilliant. And I almost forgot it comes with a travel lock function. So press the button three times and that will lock it. So it's not going to go off in your bag or at the airport and give you a, let's just say an awkward moment going through security. As mentioned before, we have got the ball deodorant. So simply apply that after a shower once you're all nice and dry and that's going to leave your private parts smelling nicely. But if you have a particularly hard day's work and you start to get a bit stinky down there, we have the ball toner, which is just a little spritz spray and that will freshen you all up. So if you order now, you get a few freebies with your gift, like the underwear that I mentioned previously. And also if I take the top off here, 
we get a lovely little travel bag, which is very nice, very good quality. So if you use the promo code PARTRIDGE uh, on your next order, you'll get 20% off this full package. Uh, highly recommend checking them out and thank you again to Manscaped for sponsoring the video. All of the links will be on the pinned comment and in the description down below as well. So yeah, thank you Manscaped, let's get on with the cleaning.
Come up good. Yeah, I'll start on the top one yeah. way down. What's the man from the other side of it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Folks, hope you can hear me. It's uh, pretty loud around here. The play equipment's all done now. Um, I'm just about to start these slabs at the top. Oh gosh. But I'll show you what we've done so far then. So we've done all of this. I mean, this has came up really, really nice. I'm really happy with this. Yeah, look at that, beautiful. So that's starting to dry it all nicely as well. Um, so I'm trying not to get too close with my muddy shoes. But uh, yeah, that's came up really, really nice compared to what it looked like before as well. So all nice and clean there. And um, these swings didn't really show that much because it's just some swings. So, um, and there's a lot of uh, sort of just rusting away a little bit at the top. But yes, yeah, so we did that the best we could. Now, this wooden structure is still drying out. Now there is still green on this, um, but we have cleaned it. Um, the reason there's still green on it, now kids play on this every single day. So if I get too close with that pressure washer, um, the wood starts to splinter. So for the sake of still a little bit of, a, you know, a tiny layer of green being left on it, I'd rather that than the being loads of splinters coming out of the wood. Because when kids are grabbing onto it and, you know, sliding down the slide, last thing I want is people getting uh, stabbed by tiny little pieces of wood. So um, that's the best way. I mean, me personally, I would really like to uh, put biocide on it, um, but I can't put biocide on it. 
because it's this is literally Monday is the only day off I have all week so I'd have to really sort of keep it cornered off for like a week or so um, and no one can go on it which I can't really safely say that would happen so I don't want to risk putting any chemical on that to clean it up so that's my method there um, so now we're going to do these top slabs up here I mean these aren't too bad to be honest a um, bit of dirt here and there for all of this it should come up quite nice though we got all of this bit and then we've got a section over here now honestly this isn't really bad at all I think it's just going to lighten up a little bit because I think it wasn't done too long ago I think a guy came in to clean it um, and he did all of this as well but do you see all these stripes um, use a turbo nozzle on that so that hasn't came up the best but um, I mean it was probably better than it was but the moss is starting to grow back already but we're only just doing this bit today I am coming back there's a brick wall down there that I want to show you in a bit um, I'm probably going to come back and do that maybe this wall here so there's a lot there's a lot left to do at this place um, so I'm excited to get the whole place tidied up so this might be like a few different episodes at this uh, this lovely pub called the Shepherd's Rest so yeah we'll crack on with this top part now Right then folks, so there we are. Again, hope you can hear me okay. Very loud here. Yeah. Um, yeah, all done. So everything's all nice and clean. I hope I've got enough footage of everything. Um, so this is probably, this is only, the, well, this is definitely only the first stage of this job because there's loads more I'm gonna do. Um, specifically that over there. I really wanna clean that. Um, so I can only do this job on Mondays because they're closed on Mondays. So in a few Mondays time, I'm gonna come back and get some more stuff done. But the point of this video was to uh, try and raise some awareness. Um, I'm going to set up a GoFundMe, um, links will all be in the description for Little Isla May, so if any of you can help, please do, but do not feel obliged to, honestly just watching the video even to this point um, is enough, because all of the ad revenue from this video is going to go towards her, so thank you to everyone who's got up to this point, so what's coming next is the story of Isla May, so I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, or I'm just going to put text and pictures on screen, or I'm going to talk over it, I've got no idea yet, this video is going to be shot over like three different days, so um, yeah, stick with it. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far. The point of this was just some filler content. Um, you know, something that I do normally do, which is pressure washing. Just so I can get some views on this video and hopefully raise a bit of money. So, um, again, thank you to everyone. But don't feel obliged to donate or anything like that because just watching 
is good enough for me. So the adverts play, you probably had to sit through a couple of adverts, so thank you for sticking with it. So yeah, cheers, nice one. Two hands there, ready? That's it. Go. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yay. Okay. Ready, catch two hands. Yay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.